I'm uh, I'm gonna have to stop eating so many donuts and uh, work out more. <laughs> this is uh, Tone's kind thoughts this week coming from uh, my friend's uh, building project. I'm, I'll just come in a bit closer. Hold on, if I can get up. Well, um, I've finally made it up to up onto my feet now. Um, I'm inside my uh, friend's uh, loft conversion. It's having a huge amount of work done. I mean, I don't know where these uh, builders and designers and architects start on such a big project. If I just get the camera and uh, pan it round, you can see uh, just how much work um, is being done here. I mean, we've got uh, we've got a hole in the ceiling here, which I guess that's going to be a, a staircase, and there's timber laying around. Um, huge amount of work. I mean, I don't know where where you would start on such a project. It's not my uh, area of expertise. But uh, I mean, even in the ceiling here, you've got these huge uh, steel girders that are actually at the moment holding the uh, the roof up. So, uh, but look at this. I mean, this is just incredible. This eventually will be two huge bedrooms. Uh, there's a plan here for a um, a new bathroom. And as I say, these these are the steps that will go down into uh, into the house, which before was was just a bungalow. So uh, you know, quite a big project. And today's um, today's uh, of Tone's kind thoughts, we're going to be looking at uh, at plans and just how these things, these thoughts, these plans that we have in our head, if they're crystallised and they're clear, you know, the whole universe is going to work uh, with you as long as, of course, you step out. So I'm just going to come over here and show you, um, show you another type of plan, if you follow me. You see, when Alice went down the rabbit hole in uh, Alice in Wonderland, she met a cat and she said to the cat, you know, which way, which way should I go? Which, which path should I take? So the cat very wisely said to, uh, said to Alice, well, where do you want to get to? And Alice said, well, I don't really know, I don't really care. So the cat wisely replied, well, it doesn't really then matter uh, which way you go then. And I think that's a great story to remind ourselves, uh, you know, when we're thinking about plans and, and visions and where we want to go. Um, now, just over here, I'm just going to pan the camera around. I actually found, uh, when I was looking up in this loft for the first time, this drawing on the wall and as you can see we have here a really detailed plan of exactly what the builders the architects want to achieve with this loft conversion and that really sort of struck me you know what that's what we should be doing in our mind that is what it's all about if we have a plan we have a vision and we get that plan crystallized you know everything's going to move in our direction we just need to step out and I thought, you know, there's a really, there's a really cool um, story here. And, uh, you know, it's like, it's like Zig Ziglar said, people often complain about the lack of time when the lack of direction is really the real problem. So that plan could have stayed on that, uh, on that wall for a long, long time. But unless the builders and the architects actually get on and step out, things aren't really going to happen. So it's kind of a little bit of both. It's the universe will come in and help you, but you've got to step out in order to receive. Scott Reed said, uh, this one step, choosing a goal and sticking to it, changes everything. Isn't that wonderful? That's a quote that's worth reminding. And of course, we know from the Bible and the Proverbs, where there is no vision, the people perish. I mean, the wisdom is all out there. It's been there for centuries. We just need to stop and think about what are we doing with our ideas? And what are we doing with our plans? Zig Ziglar, unless you have a definite, precise, clearly set goals, you're not going to realize the maximum potential that lies within you. Because you see, that is the point. We have huge, huge potential inside us, but we've got to put that down into a plan. We have to ask. Immanuel Kant said, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. You see, when these um, when these builders, these architects started to first uh, imagine this this creation, this this building project in this loft, that was just something in their imagination. They had to invent that. But then everything else, we are designed as human beings for everything else then to fall into place in order for those plans to uh, to come into uh, fruition. So the thought for this week, guys, is this, you know, get those plans down. It could be images, uh, statements, affirmations on paper, and just be with them, just stay with them, get them on the wall. I mean, that, that builder actually nailed that plan uh, on the wall so that he had it there all the time. That's where I want to get to, but I need to take these small steps to get there. 
Uh, I'll see you next time on um, Tone's Kind Thoughts. Have a brilliant week. And uh, I hope this uh, little video uh, broadcast has been useful for you. So hold on to that vision. I'll see you next time. Have a great week.